Hey guys, what's happening? I just got my hands on the Space Race Players Pack, which is a range and a total eclipse crave. I'm gonna go throw around so you guys know how these fly. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. The Space Race is a fun tournament that happens during the fall and through the winter. You get two glow-in-the-dark discs, and my tournament happens to be at night. I think a lot of them are, so you can take full advantage of these glow discs. Well, we got the range, we got the Total Eclipse Crave, which is what you guys get in your player's pack. You might want to know how these fly. Well, I'm going to go throw a handful of holes so you guys know what to expect. Let's go. All right, first off, we got the Total Eclipse Crave. Super excited about it. Let's see how it flies. All right, flying like a Crave, and it's got that stability. All right. Well, you know, earlier we got the Eclipse Crave, and that one was a little bit more stable than most of the Craves. This Total Eclipse one looks like it's going to be equally as stable. The other disc you're going to get in the player's pack is the range. I did a review on this the other day if you want to check it out. It's up here. Did a head-to-head -head battle with the range and the Berg. So if you're curious about how it compares to a Berg, you should check that one out. Second shot, we're going to do a little sidearm with that Total Eclipse Crave. It looks like it's got some stability to it, so let's see if it can handle the forehand torque. Oh, got a little flip up to it. All right. I haven't quite got this Crave dialed in yet. I'm used to them being pretty flippy for me. So I might need to treat this like more of a stable Crave and then I might have a little bit more success. Let's try it out. All right, now how does the range handle putting? We got a circle two putt here for sure. So let's try it with the range. See how she goes. All right, definitely doesn't have glide to it. All right, not too bad. I like the low profileness to it because you can really get a lot of spin, but you got to keep in mind it's not going to glide very much. So you're going to have to put a lot of speed on it. All right, we're going to play the left side on this hole. This one has two routes, but you can go nice and stable with a sidearm here. I feel like this is pretty stable, so I'm going to stop trying to baby it and put hyzers on it. We're just going to go nice and flat down this route. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, all right guys. Nice and flat, put a lot of snap on it. You guys saw it, just went dead straight. That is great. All right, getting excited about this Crave now. The stability seems to be point on for me. I've been a little scared of the Crave because some of the Craves I've gotten have been pretty flippy, but I feel like this one can handle a little bit more torque. So I don't know guys, getting excited about this. All right, left with another about 50, 60 footer outside the circle. Let's see if we can do a little better with this range here. All right. Okay, it definitely wants to hyzer at the end on long putts like this. I think next time if I have another putt like this, I'm gonna go a little higher, put it on the right side. I think it might dive in there. 230 straight uphill. We could actually do the Crave with this one because it's such uphill shot. You can really go at it with just about anything. So let's try the Crave one more time on a sidearm. Oh, there's that turn. Wow, yeah, all right. Okay, I really put a lot of speed on that one and I was able to get it to turn. So it's still a Crave. The intention of this video is not to give you a review of both of these discs. We all know what a Crave is, but this is hopefully going to give you guys doing the space race a little bit of a heads up of how both of these discs might fly so you can go out and practice with some similar discs. Definitely wouldn't recommend putting with the range, but those of you who are doing the space race, you're going to have to pretty much unless you're putting with the Crave. All right, here we go. Let's get one in. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have glide, so you gotta go a little higher than you're used to. All right, final hole we're gonna do here. Don't worry, I'm gonna make sure I do some rain shots before we're over. We got a nice long par four. So we're gonna start with a little sidearm crave here. Wow, man, that thing just goes straight on a sidearm. Good tree kick, awesome. Those of you who are looking to practice with a Total Eclipse Crave before you go, if you pick yourself up, an Eclipse Crave, I feel like it's going to be almost identical. Let's try it. Yeah, wow, that was a much better shot. 
Both of those, the Eclipse and the Total Eclipse, are flying very similar. You gotta just trust me on these. So if you're looking to get a disc to practice before your space race, pick up an Eclipse Crave. If you don't have one, you can head on over to Disc Golf Deals USA. Use my code, save yourself 10%. All right, now we're gonna throw the range. Got a nice tight tunnel here. We just want something to go straight. Maybe finish a little to the right. That should be perfect for the range. There's that turn. Doesn't have a lot of stability at, it, at the end, just a little bit. So keep that in mind, kind of like a Berg, a little more understable. Now, if you're looking for a disc to play with that'll be comparable to the range, I recommend picking up a K3 Berg, base plastic Berg. These Bergs are a little more understable and it's gonna be a little bit closer to the range. All right, my second shot actually got us about 80 feet further, but I decided to pull this back. We're about 180 out and the basket is a little bit to the right. So I'm gonna show you how you can sidearm the range. I'm gonna to have to put a little hyzer on it. Otherwise, if I throw it flat, it's definitely gonna flip over. Here we go. All right, I gave it enough height and enough hyzer that it was able to follow that hyzer line. If you throw it flat with a lot of juice, it's definitely gonna flip over on you. All right, guys, I'm not sure if this helps you at all, but I know some of you guys are heading out to your space races in the next month or two. So if you're looking to get your hands on some discs that you can practice with, I really recommend getting your hands on one of these Eclipse Craves. Disc Golf Deals has a couple different versions of it. You can check it out. And a K3 Berg is very close to a range. That might help you out. Head to your local course with those two discs and get yourself a leg up on the competition. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Until I see you next time, peace out.